One thing we hear at Dirt Tracks over and over is that consumers are feeling a growing frustration with the rising price of ATVs and side-by-sides. And we are the first to defend the situation. Progression is the name of the game, and as technology and performance progress beyond what we ever thought possible, the price tag for all this new new shouldn't come as a surprise. Not to mention that as newer, higher performance stuff gets released, the previous technology becomes more affordable. So no, we don't think there's anything wrong with top of the line models getting more and more expensive. However, we do agree that more budget conscious models are extremely important for the growth of the industry. Luckily for us, and you, Can-Am agrees and put their money where their mouth is, so to speak, when they released the new Outlander 500 and 700 lineups. These models represent huge value combined with above average performance. Today, we put the new Outlander 700 XMR to the test in the mud and on the trail to see if it's worth its very reasonable price tag. The Outlander 700 isn't just a revamped 650 with a new motor. This is an entirely new platform that's been designed from the ground up to combine all new features and technology with performance that hits way outside of its price category. Under the hood, you'll find a 650cc single cylinder EFI engine based on Can-Am's ACE engine architecture. It makes 50 horsepower and is controlled by Can-Am's intelligent throttle control drive-by-wire system with three different throttle profiles that are easily accessible from a handlebar mounted switch. This engine feels strong. It makes all the excellent bottom end you'd expect from a big bore single, but power delivery is extremely smooth and there's very little vibration. The three throttle modes are well tuned for their intended purposes and there is no perceptible lag in the drive-by-wire throttle. Power is then transferred through a gearbox with extra low, low range gearing. The shiftable 4x4 system includes a front diff lock mode. While we're on the topic of things that are adjustable, the XMR includes Can-Am's tri-mode DPS power steering system, but Instead of this system being controlled by a button on the gauge, you simply press the start button once the engine is already running to select the desired assist level. This was a feature I very much appreciated. On the trail, I found I preferred the low setting most of the time. If the trail was tight and I was in 4x4, I'd move up to the medium setting, but once I locked the front diff and hit the mud, I really appreciated the extra assist the high setting offered. Can-Am has always done an excellent job specking their XMR models with all of the features that you actually need when you're riding in the deepest mud, and the 700 is no different. The radiator is located to the front rack and features a hinged cover that makes accessing the rad to clean it easier than anything else on the market. Behind the rad is a snorkel stack that keeps the engine and CVT air intakes up at handlebar height, meaning you'd literally have to submerge the entire ATV before you'd ingest water. The lower A-arms are arched front and rear, and 9 inches of front and 9.7 inches of rear end travel are combined with a 28 inch set of XPS Swamp King tires to give you a total of 13 inches of ground clearance. A raised set of aluminum foot pegs round out the XMR package. On the trail, the XMR rode surprisingly well, better than previous XMR models I've tested. The tires offer very little grip on hard packed surfaces though and leave the back end feeling very loose in the corners. In the thick sticky mud we tested this ATV in, these Swamp King tires got good traction when the tread was clear but got clogged up pretty easily. I think in more watery mud they would be excellent. The strong torque of that 650cc single, extra ground clearance, ultra low range, trimo DPS and front diff lock all combined to make the 700 XMR a force to be reckoned with when it got really deep. Can-Am's Outlander 700 XMR is a pretty impressive mud focused ATV even before we start talking about the price. But when you consider that this ATV retails for just $10,549 in the US and $12,799 in Canada, it actually becomes hard to believe that Can-Am could pack this much performance into an ATV with a price tag this low. Yeah. 